Hello, Miss Golden Girl here. Here I am dressed in my Hawaiian attire. Today is Monday, July the 11th, 2022. And I'm going to start today documenting my trip to Hawaii, celebrating my 70th birthday closing it out. I had prayed to God for three score and 10. That's 70 years. And I was blessed with that on July 9, 2021. And so I decided that I would celebrate my birthday for 12 more months because that is a big milestone birthday. Three score and 10, you know, that's in the Bible. So right now I want to take this opportunity before starting the documentation with my favorite scripture. Now I'm gonna see if I can remember. I memorized this when I was, um, eight or nine years old. The 23rd Psalm, Psalms 23, is my favorite scriptures in the Bible. I pray that for the longest, daily, nighttime, morning, <laughs> throughout the day, as I grew up. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod, and there's in your staff they comfort me. You anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray to God to give me age 70 with good health. And then I would be content. And I just want to lay down and go to sleep. I don't want any drawn out illness. I don't want to prolong my time if I am not in good health. I want quality of life. And God has been really, really good to me. He has given me those 70 years, and I am grateful. And I want to document so my family and friends can look back on my YouTube channel and know a little bit more about me, about my journey. I don't want them to have to write my story. I want to tell my own story and leave it for my family and friends. Well, I forgot a verse and I, I got to put this verse in there because I love this verse. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And then you go on and you anoint me with oil. So um, that's very special to me. <laughs> the anointing, the oil. God has just been so good to me. Just so good to me. I come from very humble, humble beginnings. At six months old, my parents, they divorced, and I had to go live with my grandmother. She was helping my dad out with me and my brother. My brother was two, and I was six months old. And God has divinely protected me ever since that time. So I always like to serve him and give him glory. And I tell you, 
to be able to carry out this dream of mine with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It's just awesome. I left Detroit, Michigan, the Detroit Metro Airport on May 28th, and I arrived in Honolulu, Hawaii on May 28th. There is six hours difference in the time <clears throat> from Eastern Daylight Time to Honolulu time. Well, not Honolulu time. I'll say Hawaii time. And they're six hours behind us. They don't go on daylight savings time. So me leaving here early in the morning on the 28th of May, I was able to arrive there in the afternoon. And it was nothing but God that I didn't have any cancellation. My bags arrived with me. I had purchased travel insurance. So I didn't realize in purchasing the ticket that it was going to be around Memorial Day weekend. So uh, I survived with the grace of God to travel to Hawaii without any issues at all. God is good. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be giving him credit through this documentation because... His favor was on this journey to plan this trip. I, I started in 2019. Um, I wanted to begin the birthday celebration with it, July 2021. But because of the pandemic and things that were going on, I postponed it to June 2022. And it worked out so much better. All of the COVID restrictions had been removed, the mandatory testing and everything. So the Holy Spirit was awesome in guiding me and directing me in planning this trip. I dreamed about it from the time that I had visited Hawaii in 2011 to celebrate my 60th birthday that I wanted to host. I wanted to have other friends to join me on this trip. And I wanted my family to join me. And I would just envision it. I would speak it. I planned it and I wrote it out. And the manifestation took place June 2022. I was in Hawaii hosting from June 1st through June 29th. I had a guest, a group of family and friends coming in each week. Starting June 1st. June 1st was the first week. June 8th. June 15th, and then my daughter and granddaughter from Atlanta, they came in on June 20th in order to have overlap time with my granddaughter from Battle Creek, Michigan. And so it was beautiful. Um, they flew out on June 29th. They gave me the chance to get the condo all set for me to check out on June 30th. And then I flew back to Michigan on June 30th, arrived back July 1st. No problems with my flights, with my bags. I just can't thank God enough. I'm sure you probably have heard all that's going on and it was another beginning of another holiday weekend um, with flight cancellation and luggage not arriving. But God was there. The Holy Spirit. I, the, 
the triune God. I say God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. <laughs> oh, it was just awesome. It was just awesome, awesome, awesome. So this is the beginning, the intro to the documentation. Um, I will start with, um, well, I'm not sure how I'm going to start, okay? I've got a couple days to lead up to June 1st, because that's why I arrived on May 28th, so I could prepare myself for when I could check into the condo on June 1st. So I think I may document that some too, include that in the documentation, as you can see why I arrived two or three days early in order to be prepared for my first guest arriving on June 1st. All right, more to come. Stay tuned. I wanted you to see my dress. Hawaii, Hawaii. See my leg. <laughs> ah, look at me. <laughs> Hawaii. It was beautiful. It was awesome. <laughs> I went to Hawaii to celebrate my 70th birthday. <laughs> the last month, the 12th month of my birthday, I was in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> 